In this set of tutorials uh, for Project 2, we use the skills acquired in the Skills 2 tutorial to build a multi-page responsive website. The content of this site is informational, something you might call a digital essay, where the subject matter is meant to enlighten and interest the user in the golden ratio. You'll see how the golden ratio has been defined both numerically and geometrically. You might also get a hint that the geometry and the arithmetic pull together Eastern and Western thinking and technology. The website will include responsive hamburger navigation. It will share both audio and video media. We'll make images available through image tags and as background using CSS. We we'll use a grid layout to implement a holy grail and for a couple of pages and we'll provide some sticky social links on every page. We we'll use a column layout to achieve a masonry effect as we provide images and content in a two-dimensional layout. Some numeric data will be displayed using a tabular layout. To complete this website, we'll replace to-dos in the HTML with, with appropriate code, and then we'll style all the pages. Here's a sample website that can give you an idea about where we're going with this. So you can see we've got that, we've got a part of our holy grail here. We've got, um, you know, our header, our nav, we've got a main content, and then we've got an aside, and then we've got a footer. So we've seen this before. Um, we've got a masonry layout here, so we've got, you know, images, headers, and text. And then over here we've got some credits that are just links to, to account for all of this media that we're sharing. Um, and then we have a Fibonacci page, which is about this man that um, came that discovered this series um, that actually ends up by ratios equating to the golden mean, so the golden ratio can be expressed numerically. And so this is just a little introduction to that. So you can see the math. And then on the media page, we have some audio to share and a couple of videos that we can share. And these are all responsive, so um, they are coded. And we have an about page, and you're actually free to put whatever you want on this. It, it reiterates the uh, what we were learning in this, in this project. And then um, it, it, we, we've said here that the, the golden ratio is everywhere, but, you know, this is kind of a comic showing that, well, maybe it isn't exactly everywhere. But the, the point of this is, you know, we, we have an about page, and you can actually write up anything you want on that. And you can see we have a sticky set of social links for Facebook, Twitter, and GitHub. And you can fill out your own name in those links if you have set up those accounts. And you could even use different, you can change these icons if you want to make them more personal. But what we're going to be doing is um, we're going to start with some code that is um, not completed, some HTML, and it has to-dos in it. And we're going to work through some instructions to complete the HTML, and then we will style it. So before we get into coding, let's do one more thing, which is to look at this site uh, in mobile format so that we kind of have an idea how this works. So we'll, we'll turn on the mobile. I'll move this over a little bit. And so you can see that we have our mobile layout there, and we have our hamburger nav that will allow us to navigate throughout all of our pages using this hamburger. And without our navigation, we really don't have links between pages. So our information architecture is fairly simple. And we'll next, we'll take a look at some of the design docs behind this. So once you've forked and cloned this assignment, you'll see that you'll get a, a, a folder with the Project 2. And there is an inner directory with the design. And there are comps and wireframes. So um, I'm not going to look through each and every one of those right now, but I'll give you an idea so you can look for yourself. That for each page, you will see a full page picture. And then you'll also see a mobile picture. So you'll always have that kind of as a reference. And then for wireframes, you'll see a desktop home page. So it kind of gives you a, a lay layout <coughs> and an idea of how it's going to look. And then you'll get um, a mobile layout for with the, with the navigation open and um, with the navigation closed.
stuff. So there are documents here to look at. Um, and I think that, that there is also this info architecture. So we haven't really gotten into that, but we'll get into that more in the course. Um, this just helps you to see how all of the pages are interconnected and how a user might find their way around. And you can see that every page is accessible to every other page, and that is strictly through the nav bar, which will be, you know, getting that working. So those are the main documents. All right, to begin work on this project, we only have to do this once, but we need to fork and clone it. So we're going to fork it here. And then we will get ready for cloning the All right, so we're going to, we're now cloned. We're in, I'm in my account. I've got a copy of this from the cloning or from the forking, and now I'm going to clone it. So, clone. And my next step will be to open it in code. So, Watts 3010 Project 2. Oops, code watts 3010 project 2. And at this point, we've got all of our directories. Here's that design directory that we were looking at. And you can actually look at images and right inside of Visual Studio Code. <clears throat> uh, and then we've got our, our four files here about Fibonacci Index and Media. And we've got our README, which will give us the instructions to complete the assignment. And if we look at what we've got running now, we have no, you see that little X that's not being hidden for the hamburger. We have no navigation. We have no styling on this page. And we don't really have a way to get to other pages other than to just type them in. So we still have a lot of work to do. Let's get started.